so welcome again to my channel so today in this recording we will be covering uh, some implementation exercises concerning stack so they are asking us to keep two stack within a single linear array so more specifically they are asking us to design a method for keeping two stacks within a single linear array so that neither stack overflows until all of, the, all of the memory is used and an entire stack is never shifted to a different location within the array so we need to put two stacks into one single array and we don't we do not need to shift any elements when there is always a, a, an empty space in the array so they ask us to write the usual stack routine it means we should write the functions create stack push pop top is empty is full and they give us a hint that the two stacks grow toward each other in each other in your function use an extra integer parameter to identify the stack to be used so more precisely we have two stacks we need to implement two stacks this is the ADT and we need to implement these two stacks uh, using one array so this is the array we will try to put the first stack um, at the top of the uh, array and the uh, second stack it will grow uh, from the bottom so the first stack will grow from left to right and the second stack will grow from right to left so uh, at either uh, time so if there's always some cells empty cells here so we can always add some element into the stacks and whenever there's no more empty cells here the we cannot add no more um, elements to either of the two stacks so let's think about implementation and see how we can implement all these functions so what does it mean to have or how, how can i declare a type uh, a stack or two stacks uh, uh, using one array and two stacks so here we are using one array and we are using an integer to indicate the index of the top element this is what we have done in the usual implementation of the stack the new here is that we will use one uh, additional integer to indicate the top element of the second stack so the bottom element of the first stack is at index 0 so it's always fixed and the uh, bottom element of the second stack is always fixed and uh, and is equal to n minus 1 so the stack 2 it will grow uh, to the, in this direction and the stack 1 it will grow in from this direction so uh, so in our our definition of two stacks we should use one array and two integer top one and top two let's think about the other functions so whenever i create a function uh, a stack two stacks like these we have already seen an array is always it contains always a random number so what i can do with the top one and top two so top one will indicate uh, uh, that there is no elements there is no element so of course it should point to and an index that it's lower than zero so in our case we will take it equal to minus one and here it will point to uh, an index that beyond the last element of the array so it's equal uh, to n so this is it we're creating a stack we should just initialize these two elements i will erase in order to uh, uh cannot erase so let's go back and see what we can do let's remove it what we can do with the push and pop operation so whenever pushing i should say in which stack i would like to push the element so is it in the first stack or the second stack so for this since we have one definition of this stack we have one type def we have one type def so we have type def struct and we will call it two stacks for example Mm. we cannot use two here so for this whenever we are pushing we should say in which stack we would like to push so our push uh, pop and top uh, functions should take an extra parameter as it was written in the uh, exercise uh, text that we should use an extra parameter for the uh, push and pop and top and other operations as we will see later so whenever i'm pushing I should ask, I should tell in which stack I am going to push. So, 
uh, if I'm trying to push, for example, in the stack one and top one is pointing to this element, I should increment top one and push the element, for example, Z. Suppose that top one is here and top two is pointing here and uh, now I want to push an element into the first stack. So obviously I should check that the stack is uh, not full because if it's full I cannot uh, push an element. So how can we know that a stack is full? So a stack is full is whenever we have this condition. It means that top one is followed by top two. What does it mean it's followed by top two? It means that one plus top one is equal equal to top two. So this one of index 3 and this one of index 4. So top 1 plus 1 is equal to top 2. So this is the condition for if the uh, array, if the both stacks, if there is no more places. So to check if it's full, there is I cannot check just if the stack 1 is full or the stack 2 is full. For this, we can check it, the whole structure if it's full or not. For that, the function, the method is full stack. It doesn't take uh, an extra integer, an extra parameter to check which stack is empty or not. Let's see, uh, for example, for the emptiness of a stack. For here, stack 1 could be empty, stack 2 could be empty, and there is no relation between two. So for this, the is empty stack should take an extra parameter. And how do we know if the stack 1 is empty? So it's the same as we have done in the course. So we check just if top 1 is equal to minus 1, and how we check if the stack 2 is empty, we see, we check just whether uh, the top 2 is equal to my n minus 1, n uh, equal to n, sorry. So, what we have, uh, what we remains for us is the uh, top element. So, for the top, we should use an extra parameter to see which, uh, which stack we are uh, considering. So, how do we get the top element of stack 1? So it's easy, we talk, we take the elements at uh, index top 1 and here in stack 2 we, we take the element at index top 2 we, knowing that we should check if the stack is, em is not empty before checking the elements. What uh, about uh, pop? Again, pop uh, should take an extra parameter because we can pop an element from stack 1 and an element from stack 2. Uh, we should take care that the stack is not empty also in order to pop and while popping as we have seen earlier We just need to decrement top one for the first stack and Increment top two for the second stack. So let's go and see what to how can we implement these into uh, in C so as an example in main I have uh, used created um, Type a new type called two stacks and a new function, it calls creates two stacks. I have pushed the elements as we have seen in the example here, and then we will print uh, these stacks. So we'll need to change some of these functions. So let's go up. This is the old uh, prototypes. We need to modify some of it in order to meet our new requirements. So in two stacks, as we have seen, so the elements here are uh, of character, of type character. They are not int. So we have one array and we have two tops. Top 1 for the first stack and top 2 for the second stack. So in order to create uh, two stacks, so the type here is called two stacks, not stacks, you don't have stacks. So in order to, we should declare, for example, a variable of type two stacks and we should initialize t top top 1, top 1 is equal to uh, minus 1 and t top 2 is equal to n. So I repeat. So the first uh, for the first stack top one it points to the element before zero, so it's equal to minus one. And the for the second uh, stack it points to the element that it's beyond n minus one, so it's equal to n. So this is it for two stack. We should check if uh, two stack is empty. To check whether two stack is empty, we should add an extra integer, an extra parameter to check which which stack is empty or not. So we'll see if n equal to one, we should check whether the first stack is empty. So to know whether the first stack is empty, we should check if top one is equal to minus one. So we'll say return whether p dot top one is equal equal to minus one. So in the 
other case so if n equal to 2 for example we will check whether p dot top 2 is equal equal to n so again so if n so n equal 1 for the first stack and equal 2 for the second stack for the first stack we should check whether top 1 is equal to minus 1 in the second stack we should uh, check whether the uh, point uh, top 2 is equal to n so let's check whether it's a full stack so it's full stack as we have seen the uh, both uh, integers both tops should follow each other so we should uh, we return true if uh, P here dot top one plus one is equal equal to P dot top two. So this is me. It means that if P dot top one plus one equal equal P dot top two, it returns one. Else it will return false. Let's see pushing. So push. I will. It takes. A pointer to a stack a two stack an element e and uh, an integer to say which stack i am pushing so in order to push the the stack should be not empty so if it's full uh, in order to push the, it should be not full so if it's full so if the two stack is full stack is full so we return a zero so we cannot push anymore otherwise if we reach this far it means that we have at least one cell and we check if we want to push in the first stack what should i do i should increment top and then add the element so i will increment uh, pre-incrementation of p arrow p here top one and then i will add in p arrow top one after uh, before uh, after the incrementation so in the array p data i will put the element e data i will put the element e otherwise i, I need to do return one so however here i should write else so if it's p equal to two i should decrement top two and then add the element so i should decrement top two and then add the element and if we reach this far it means that i have pushed the element correctly for pop again it's the same as uh, top so in order to pop it mean uh, the, the stack should be not i'm um, not empty so we need here an extra integer to check whether uh, this stack which stack i want to pop from it so i will check if is empty so let's copy this so if is empty d reference p and i want to check if uh, is empty stack this stack so i will return zero otherwise again i will check if n is equal equal to one i will put i will not put i will just uh, decrement right i will just decrement top one Otherwise, I will increment. I will increment uh, top two, and I will return one. So, if you already followed me in the uh, example, so it would be easy. This so, in the first stack, I will decrement if I want to pop, and in the second one, I will increment. The top is the similar one as of uh, pop pop or however here i need also the element so i will copy this and modify a bit so if it's empty stack so here we have uh, p uh, a two stack by value so i will return zero and if e equal to one i will put in e p dot data and p dot top one otherwise i will put in e the element pointed by top two print a stack i have here two stacks i will supplement it with an integer so how can we write uh, the function uh, print a stack so in order to print the stack we should uh, either start from the beginning or from the end so we have an element e 
So here we have top, we will use uh, the top element of uh, the specified stack and then I will pop also the element from the stack. I will use here C since we have characters in the stack. So let's run and see uh, if we have made some mistakes. So in the first stack we have I, F and A. So we first push A to the bottom, then F, then I. And then we have Y, P, T, J in the second stack. So it seems correct. There's nothing wrong. And uh, this is it for this exercise. This exercise is a bit uh, difficult so because it's related to implementation. So uh, we will cover later on uh, one um, difficult exercise where we want to uh, place three stacks inside one single array. Uh, it's one of the most difficult exercises. So please pay attention and work this example and understand it very well in order to uh, solve the uh, most difficult exercises that we will encounter later on. So this is it for this exercise. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to send an email and to subscribe to this channel and to hit the bell icon to turn on notifications. So for this is for now and thanks for watching.